and by the way if you if, if you really like this intellisense like if I'm typing and something pops up here um, this is a this is a facility provided by sublime text it's a really cool text editor I mean I've been using it for quite a while now and I really love it so if you want to get that you can go to Google I sure I'll help you out with that right now go to Google type sublime text to and then click on their link here just go in and download that right here it's a free version I mean if you want to continue to use it you have to pay for it but you can use it for free initially for a limited amount of time I'm not quite sure how long okay let's get back to doing some jQuery and sliders alright um, so now that we set up this layout properly now what we have to do is start writing some JavaScript now okay back to our custom JS so before we start writing let me just explain what we'll be doing basically we'll hook up event links event handlers to this next um, link here and this previous link when next is clicked we're going to get the active currently active um, image that is image with this class applied to it image shown we're gonna get an image with a class of image shown and then get the next image in line that is the next image in line and then show this image and hide this one so that will make our, our slider seem like it's moving to the next image whilst basically all we're doing is shifting classes that is removing this image shown class and then taking this and replacing it here and then taking this image hidden and changing it to image shown okay let's do that in JavaScript let's take it back see if everything is as it is yeah okay so we'll s we'll add an event handler to pre next link so we'll say when the next link it is clicked we'll target it we'll say dot on click we'll handle it with this function anonymous function and guys I do know like some people like to use dot click which is totally fine or some people like to use live but as of jQuery the latest version on is the most um, recommended way of handling events so if you're using the latest version of jQuery use on probably they've done some optimizations and they want everyone to use that if you've been using an older library and you've been used to using stuff like live and it works by no means stick with that if you use on on older libraries it will break or it might break I'm not quite sure but yeah that's the advice uh, I have for you okay so on clicking next link what we want to do is grab the currently active link so we'll create a variable say var current active link equal to so how do we know which one's the current active link we see in the list of images here any link with a link a class of image shown is known as the active link active image sorry so we'll grab that and then we'll get the next active link that is sorry guys this shouldn't be next active link should be next current active image so we'll get the next active image and that will be the image after the currently active image so currently active image to get the next image which has to be shown you do a next on this element here so when you grab this element using jQuery and you apply a next method on it as we're going to be doing here current active image dot next that moves you to the next element in this set here so 
okay so now that we've got the current active image and the next image to be made active we have to shift the classes in them so the currently active image we're going to remove its going to remove class we're going to remove the class of image shown and then make it invisible by giving it a class of image hidden and then we're going to take its z index and set it to minus 10 basically the reason we're doing that is if we give it a z index of minus 10 it will be the last image in the stack of images as you can see here these images they're sort of stacked onto each other so when we give the z index of minus 10 this image that was the visible one will be the last image in the stack of images okay so next active image dot we're going to give it a class of image shown so get get what we're doing here this is very very important so the currently active image we're removing the image shown class that is we're saying don't show that class that is hide it by re removing its image shown class and then adding an image hidden class to it and then shift it to the back of stack of images by giving it a z index of minus 10 and then take the next ima active image that is the image that has to be made active and give it a class of image shown that is show it and then remove remove its class of image hidden and then give it a z index of 20 so we're giving it 20 because we want it to be at the top of the stack of images this is minus 10 this will be at the back this is 20 this will be in the front because by default items have z index of i think one i'm not quite sure but it's not a very high number so it's either zero or one so zero or one is in between minus 10 and 20 so 20 will have a higher z index than all of the other images and minus 10 will have a lower z index of all these images so this will be at the back of the stack and this will be at the top of the stack which is what we want because we want to show this image okay so after we've shown this image and hidden this one so we want to reset all of this so we'll say jQuery um, give me every image inside of here that is not the last image and the currently active and then set their z index to to um sorry set their z index to one so what we're going to do is target every image inside carousel inner dot css z index of one so we'll reset the z index oh sorry that is not these two over here so we're going to put these two in an array so that we're not selecting we're selecting every image apart from these two this and this so when you do add when you select all the images using the selector and then you pass it a not so it, the of these two in an array it excludes them in the list of images so we'll pass this comma this one as well comma and then after that 
we're going to prevent that link from taking us to uh, um, any page so we'll say event dot prevent default basically what prevent default does is it prevents whatever the default action of this image this image is by default when you have a link here and you click on this link it tries to take you to a definite URL whatever you have in this href value whatever the href value is here it tries to take you there but when you say event this e could be anything we just um gave it a value e but you can have i here or j or z as long as the variable isn't used anywhere inside of here so we say event dot prevent default that is do not take me to anywhere i just want to do something when that link is clicked but don't take me to any url okay